subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest notification hello viewers this is aro we are again back with one more video in today's video we are going to explain you how to flash ubuntu into mi a2 this is pretty similar like flashing a custom rom onto our device so there is no need to worry i am going to explain you the steps in a detailed manner so that there is no confusion for you before starting there are few files that we need in order to make this a success all the download links are given in the description below so you can go and download those files prior to starting this process so my dear friends let's start first of all let's boot our mia2 into recovery mode it is twrp recovery mode if you don't know how to boot the device into twrp recovery mode or if your device don't have a twrp recovery there are two videos on my channel that explain you how to flash a twrp recovery on your device so you can go and check out the links are also given in the description below or you can see there is a link on the top right side corner of your video you can click that and go into that video and you can clearly understand how to flash a custom recovery that is twrp recovery on mi a2 so as that process is done let's boot into twrp recovery in order to enter into twrp recovery we need to hold power button and volume up button till the device restarts after device restarts we can leave those both buttons and you can see i already booted into the twrp recovery well before loading all those four files onto the device follow these steps go into wipe advanced wipe select all the options that are there and click sw swipe to wipe after that go back click again wipe and click format data type s that's it the data got formatted click back see the slot should be in slot b for the first step in order to change the slot enter into reboot you can change you can select whatever slot you want if i selected the slot a you can see the slot change it to current slot a if i click slot b slot b the slot change it to slot b you can see here current slot is b we need slot b to be the current slot now load all those files i'm showing you here there are only two files that are important that is jasmine sprout stop android 9 zip and ubuntu jasmine sprout 05112020.zip these are the two files that you should load onto the device for this though there is no need to worry it is going to take a while so i will be back again after the copying gets finished okay here you can see the copy the copying of the files into the device already got finished so now follow my steps carefully again check what is your current slot it should be b if it is b then go to install and select jasmine sprout stock android 9 dot zip image sorry zip and swipe to flash well you can see the process might take a, a while but it will be completed don't need to worry after that press back press on reboot and change your slot to a slot a and verify it the current slot will be slot a after switching to slot a tap recovery and swipe to reboot
Well, you can see here we are faced with a screen saying there is no command. It means there is no recovery that is installed. Our previous recovery, that is TWRP recovery that we flashed, was overwritten by the stock ROM that we just flashed. So, my friends, in this case, let's boot into fast boot mode. For that, press volume down button. and hold power button till the device reboots. After the device reboots, you may see some other image here. There is no need to be the same image, but it should be written, it is fast boot here. So, after entering into the fast boot, now let's jump onto our computer, go to the folder where you place your recovery image, hold shift on your keyboard, press right click. After that, select this option, open PowerShell window here or open command prompt window, whatever that it is there for you. You can see, now press fast boot space devices. After that command, you can see here, our device got detected. It is giving the device code and with a bit of space after that, continued by fastboot. So, means our fastboot mode is detected. After that, press this command, fastboot space, boot space, pay.img. Well, see. This image is actually TWRP 3.3.1 Jasmine Sprout recovery image but I renamed it to a.img so that it will be very easy for me while entering the command. You can also rename that TWRP image, image file to a.img and click enter. Well, you can see our device started booting up into the recovery mode. Well, it is booted. Now, go on reboot and you can see our active slot should be A. First, it is B, but right now, it should be A. After that, go into install. And select the second zip that is UP Touch Jasmine Sprout zip. Swipe to flash. And after this process got finished, simply click Reboot System. This will simply reboot our device. Well, you can see here our phone successfully booted into Ubuntu Touch OS. Let me finish this setup quickly so that we can review this OS on our MI A2. Well, the setup is completely done. Now, it is teaching me how to use the gestures here for the navigation. Well, let's check how this ROM functions, what are working in this ROM and what are not working. According to the documentation that is provided in the Telegram group, there is no support for LTE 4G on this device. And one more drawback is in camera, the video recording mode is not working. And also, this ROM is not as smooth as the other Android based ROMs, but this is a Linux based Ubuntu software, so we should not expect that much of a performance on this entry level software, which has a long way to go in order to get all the bug fixes and performance updates. So, my dear friends, 
you can see here we got different kinds of apps we got file manager which is working we have working camera just for photos but there is volume slider is working wi-fi is working bluetooth is working location settings are working battery is working brightness is working which you can see here clock working into the system go to system settings almost everything almost everything is working rotation lock is working flight mode is working hotspot is working well literally everything is working in the store there is an app store that is called open store here in this software which you can use to download more applications let's say YouTube let's download a YouTube that's it it just got installed like that well you can see the app is working perfectly fine but the bottom layer it is right bit different from Android see if you click here this animation and this setup is pretty awesome you can see here all the options that are, that are there account subscription trending home bag all are there in the single button which you can see the animation is pretty nice in this way there are many more apps that are there uh, but I, I haven't found any social media apps for like whatsapp or anything maybe they are there but I didn't spend much of a time in this ROM I used this ROM just for 5 minutes till now I will make a review video if you want so if you want any review video please mention in the comment section so that I will make another review video about this Ubuntu ROM and one more thing all the credits go to the developers of this ROM I am not the developer of this ROM so all the credits go to them the telegram link of the channel is also provided in the description below you can go there if you have any doubts or any if you face any kind of bugs you can report there they will help you that's it friends if you like this video subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell icon for the latest updates so thank you thank you for watching bye bye subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications